They are on the front line every day. Student from Venezuela's Central University. On Monday, they block the roads around the university for hours. Cristian Pereda is 18 years old. I am here for the future of my country and for my university. I have to protect myself with a helmet and with what I can, even though the government says we are terrorists for using them. It gets violent, but I need to be here. The UCV, as the university is known, has had a tradition of standing up to power. Alfredo Garcia says that now is the time to fight for Venezuela, as the government is calling for a vote to rewrite the constitution. How can we discuss a constitutional assembly? We want to debate how to better Venezuela, improve the economy, politics, oil. We're fighting for the basic rights like democracy and freedom. After 200 years as a republic, look how deteriorated our political system has become. And that's why they're planning to be on the streets waiting for the police to try to remove them by force. These students say that they will do everything they can to prevent the Constitutional Assembly from happening. The government is saying that these people are being used by the opposition, but they say that this is the only way they have because they have no future in Venezuela right now. Every day, students are injured. One of them was hit by a tear gas canister. He was immediately taken to a hospital. An 18-year-old was shot in Turmero in the province of Aragua. Clashes between students and the police have been ongoing every day here. Students are saying that the police and the National Guard are aiming at them directly with this type of shells. The government of Nicolás Maduro says the students are part of a bigger plan by the opposition to overthrow him and has accused them of starting the violence. We are the violent ones. We have stones. They have weapons, tear gas, bullets that are killing us. They are the violent ones. Students from this university have defended people's rights for decades and have confronted governments from all political sides. They consider themselves revolutionaries as they stand up to a government who they claim is more focused on holding on to power than on improving their lives. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Caracas.